Thanks for joining us for part two of stretching. Here we go. Quadriceps femoris. We are working our way down our Trying body. To stretch those large muscle groups. So the quadriceps, you've got two each side of your body. Um, they wrap around your femur. The femur is this large bone that goes from your uh, pelvis all the way down to your patella, your kneecap down here. This is the longest bone in the body. Um, there's only one bone in your legs here, but when you get down to the bottom of your leg, there are two bones here, your tibia and fibula. And same with your arms. You've got your humerus bone right here in the top part of your arm, and then you've got two down here, your radia, a radius, and your ulna. Okay, so quadriceps femoris, you have a couple choices here. If you need to hold on to something to support yourself, you can go up to a wall, um, door jam, something you can lean on. In class, sometimes we use a partner as long as it's beneficial and you guys aren't knocking each other over. I'm just gonna go ahead and balance. Sometimes, some students say it's beneficial to grab your earlobe as you pick up your leg there. This is gonna get your stretch across the front, the quadricep here, or you can put your arm out to help steady yourself. Let's go ahead and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Quadriceps is a very large muscle group. Quad. Who has a quad or a four-wheeler? How many wheels does it have? It's got four. So the quadricep has four points of insertion, meaning attachments to the body. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of these muscle names are Latin, so you're learning um, a little bit of Latin. And that's why I don't know how to pronounce it, because I don't speak Latin. German, perhaps I'd have a better chance. Okay, hamstrings is the next muscle group, and they are located on the back of your legs. Um, to help you remember hamstrings, you sit on your hamstrings while you eat your hamburger. So you've got a couple ways you can stretch your hamstrings. In class, um, students can choose to do it, uh, either together or individually. So if you're going to do it together, you want your feet a little wider than your shoulders and you're going to gently reach over towards your toes. Just let your body weight um, bring your body down. You don't have to touch your toes. Let your body pull your, um, the weight of your body, just let it gently pull you down. Try and keep your legs um, straight. If you bend your legs, you lose the stretch, so try and keep them straight. You don't have to lock your knees, though. You could bend them slightly so they're not locked. Just rest there. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Um, the other one that you can do individually is where you actually cross your legs. So I'm gonna cross my one leg over the other, just like this, it's hard to see while I'm wearing black pants here. You're gonna keep the leg in the back, this one back here, you're gonna keep that one straight, you can bend the front one, you're gonna be getting your stretch in the back. So reach towards your toes, you should feel your stretch probably in the back leg more, looks like this sideways. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna switch legs, so I'm gonna take that front one and now make it my back leg. Cross with that front leg, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super. Okay, Mrs. Thomas uses the hurdle stretch. Um, that's also stretching out the hamstring on one of your legs. See if I can show you here. You might be able to see, you might not. Okay, so hurdle stretch, here I go. I've got one, one leg forward and my other one is bent. My knee is bent here. Here, this works. And forward like that. Okay, so you can reach towards your toe like this. Just like that, reaching towards your toe. Ready, one, two, three. That feels really good. Four, five, six. My legs are tight, so I really feel this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna switch my hurdle stretch here. 
put my other leg forward. Right now I've got both feet forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach towards both feet. See if I can put this down here by my feet. Here we go, I'm reaching towards my feet. I'm holding the phone and holding onto my toes. You can't see my feet though, which is funny. There they are, maybe that. Ready, one, two, I feel this a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm getting a stretch on both my legs here. You can see, feels really good though. So I'm doing it a little bit longer than 10 seconds. All right, I'm gonna switch, do the hurdle stretch on my other foot here. I'm gonna pull this leg back. So if you look, I've got one leg forward as if I was jumping a hurdle. This is how you would do it. And your other leg, you pull back to the side like this, okay? Here we go, reaching towards my toe again. Ready, one, do both hands, not just one. Just having a hard time trying to hold the phone and do this. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all of these stretches, uh, doing hamstrings, standing up, reaching towards both toes, or sitting on the ground and reaching towards both toes, or doing them individually, stretching um, by crossing over that front leg and reaching towards your toes gets the legs individually. The back leg is the one getting the stretch and your hurdle stretch, same thing. Uh, legs are individually stretched for that hamstring stretch. One stretch that I don't have on my um, poster at school, all of my students have done these stretches, uh, at least in the third and fourth grade. Um, except the hurdle stretch, that would be a new one. Um, but the one that we don't have at school would be the groin, and it's called a butterfly stretch. Let me write it down for you so you can see how it's spelled. And then I will show you what the butterfly stretch looks like. And that one feels really good too. Okay, the groin muscle group. This is a muscle group on the inside of your People legs. People that practice dance um, and uh, any type of sport that requires you to be flexible, gymnastics, um, their groin muscle group uh, will probably be pretty flexible. This is the stretch where you put your feet together like this and you let your legs, you can start you can start with your legs together, feet together at the bottom there, and then you can just let your legs fall out. Let your body weight pull them down. It's not safe to, to put your hands on your knees and push down. Um, you can end up ripping or tearing muscles if you push them farther than they naturally will go on their own. So I'm just gonna let my legs pull my um, knees down on their own, just like this, I don't know how be nice if I had somebody to film me, but I don't. Just like this, so let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great. Um, those that have really flexible groin muscles are able to do the splits. Uh, me, not so much. Maybe you are one of those people. One other stretch and balancing act you can do for the groin is balancing on your hands, so I, oh, Peeper! Oh, Peeper wants to be here, right here with me and do the stretch too. He's probably gonna give me kisses while, <laughs> while I'm trying to stretch. So my elbows are on my knees. I'm gonna put my hands down and I'm gently gonna rock forward. I'm also doing this um, on a carpeted area so that if I fall forward, I won't have my hands to catch myself. If I fall forward, my face won't smash into a really, really hard floor, like tile or brick. I don't want to chip any of my teeth, okay? So I'm balancing and I'm stretching my groin at the same time. Give it a go if you can find a, a soft spot. Next is the gastrocnemius. Um, this is located where your calf is. So to do this stretch, I'll show okay. you in a sec. So gastrocnemius, you are going to um, have your feet both pointing the same direction. You're gonna step forward with one foot. Keep the 
back leg straight all the way down to your heel. Your heel should be on the ground. Your feet are both pointing the same direction and you're gonna bend your front knee. I see that I'm out of range here for the phone. Let me try to scoot back, okay. Bend your front knee just like that and you should get a stretch in your calf muscle. Your calf is right here, this part of your leg where if you follow it up, there should be a big muscle you can grab right here. That's your gastrocnemius uh, muscle group. So here we go. Let's hold that for two. You can increase the stretch by bending your front knee more. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. You can either step back and switch feet like that or just turn around. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Next, we have my favorite, the human pretzel. Okay, next is the psoas muscle. This muscle is located deep um, under the other muscles, kind of in your uh, leg and pelvis. The psoas major is the largest player in a group of muscles called the hip flexors. It is a core muscle and connects your lower vertebrae to your femur. It's very important that you keep this nice and flexible. Let's see if I can get you to somehow see what I'm about to do. Those of you in third and fourth grade, maybe you can help your parents get into the human pretzel, as we like to call it. So I've got uh, both feet flat on the floor, knees are bent. I'm gonna take one leg and put my ankle on my knee. The hand up here where my arm is sitting on top of my knee is gonna go through this triangle that the leg makes right here and through the other leg popping out at my sock here. This hand is gonna go over the top and I'm gonna pull my bottom leg, this one right here, it's hard because I'm in black. I'm gonna pull this leg, my, um, I'm holding on to my hamstring back here. I'm gonna pull that towards my chest and that's where I get my stretch. And you should feel the psoas kind of, uh, where your vertebrae and uh, top of your humerus, your seat, somewhere down in there. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's change that. So other side, you're gonna put your ankle on your knee, just like this. I feel a great, a nice stretch right here too, even just gently pushing my knee away from my body. I can feel that open up my hip down there. Again, I'm gonna take this hand where my uh, hand sits on top of my knee there, or my elbow, and then my hand, this hand on this side of the body. Same side as this leg that made the triangle, go through my leg, and I go through my other leg, pop out at my sock, over the top, gently pull towards my chest. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks for joining me today as we did a number of stretches, some of them new, most of them old, at least to students that have had this before. Those of you that hadn't, haven't had it, it'd be great to practice this. You could do this with every workout. Stretching those big muscle groups um, will increase your flexibility if you can do it consistently throughout the week and continue that for life. See you next time.